Post Malone. Post Malone. Post Malone. The one and only Austin Post. Huh? After releasing the track White Iverson, he went from being relatively unknown to making a mad dash to the top of the charts. This is just my modest four times platinum plaque. How does it feel to have basically our entire YouTube career and views on one video? It happened so fast. I don't even remember when we put the video out. Just like I shot a video today and it just knocked it out in one day and then put it out and it just went crazy. Hey, hey. Yeah, he might be one of the newer acts that show some signs of having some staying power. He has shown the ability to continue to produce that White Iverson potential. Every song I listen to, I'm like, yo, I feel that, you know what I mean? I wanna talk about On The Breakfast Club, one of your, the first interviews you did. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? <laughs> what? They kinda came at you in a really yeah. shitty way. No more passes for Post Malone, you're done. You put your hand in cornrows, you threw some gold in your mouth, you did a song called White Iverson, it worked for you, so now you're like, oh, let me stay in this lane for a while. That's when they're coming for you, that's the big move, that's checkmate right there, and they think they have you. Rapper Post Malone, he was stuck at high altitude for hours today, a safe landing five hours later here in Orange County. Line. Post Malone just cannot catch a break. Post Malone's white Rolls Royce went through the hedge and that chain link fence after he was T-boned by another driver. Rest in peace, a little peep. I love you to death. He was really like such a good guy, such a talented dude, and he was gonna change music forever. And it sucks, dude. This dude just died, and everybody takes it as a, a prime opportunity to shame people who may have issues with drugs. Ooh, that intro gave me the shivers. If you guys enjoy those epic intros, let us know by hitting that like button right now. Now Post Malone, he's had a meteoric rise to fame. Shortly after starting out on SoundCloud and building a buzz with his single White Iverson, well Post Malone has become one of the biggest superstars in modern music. Now whether you know him for his face tattoos or for his hit records, the name Post Malone, it rings a bell for music fans of all ages. I mean, for the love of God, my mother even knows who he is. Now the man is only currently on his third album. As much as it may look like it happened overnight, well, post his success, it was built over years of experimenting with different sounds and all types of music. Now, before the fame, he was living in Texas and playing in a metal band. Then he was living with a group of Minecraft YouTubers trying to shop a mixtape that no one would give a listen to. Now, in this video, of course, we're gonna walk you through his epic journey. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden here for you on Before They Are Famous, documenting the life and career of Post Malone prior to fame, this time hitting you with an epic update. Now, in honor of his new album and how far this man's come, we thought we would have to take a look back. We've done epics on others, including Lil Uzi, Cardi B, and Drake. Now, we only do these epics for those who have achieved true GOAT status. And like our other series, well, we need you guys to let us know who deserves the next epic in the comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. I just want to make music that I like. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm lucky that people like the music that I like as well, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it just kind of worked, you know? I just want to make music that uh, makes me happy at the end of the day. No, Post Malone, he was born Austin Richard Post on July 4th, 1995 in Syracuse, New York. He was raised by his father, Richard Post. Yeah, that's his real name. Also his stepmother, Jody. Little did Rich know that his son would one day become the richest post in the family. The music had always been in the family with his father having worked as a DJ for local events where he would play all different genres of music. Now this influenced Austin to love all different types of music, everything from Bob Dylan, Kanye West, Biggie, Hank Williams, and everything in between. And no, I'm not talking about that little Hank Williams. Don't get those two confused. Now the family, they moved to Grapevine, Texas when he was 10 years old because his dad got a new job. Now Grapevine, it is a population of around 50,000, but like it says on their official website, it's always a great time in Grapevine. Now Austin's father, he got a job as the assistant director of food and beverages for none other than the Dallas Cowboys football team at AT&T Stadium. Now of course this job, it came with some perks for his son like free tickets for Cowboys games. And who could forget the unlimited food and drinks. Now Austin, his birth mother, she also moved to Texas to be closer to his son. Now in his teenage years, before playing a real instrument, well post he fell in love with Guitar Hero. He mastered the expert level on every song, so he decided the only logical next step, well, was to pick up a real guitar. I started making music like, I guess I was 12, I started playing Guitar Hero. Mm -hmm. And you know, they got to a point where on expert, 
you can only exceed to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I was like, let's play real guitar. Let's not waste no more time. Now, Post Mom, she got him a guitar for Christmas and he began to learn, but it wasn't as easy as he'd hoped. How similar was Guitar Hero to playing a regular guitar? It was horrible. The transition was awful. So none of that Nothing yeah. is the same. <laughs> it, it looked easy on the game, like right. you're just hitting the colors and right. you're watching the screen, you act and you start moving and woo woo. Yeah, you feeling cool as hell with the guitar in your hand, but it's, it's not the same at all. Now his dad told him that if he could stick it out for six months, then he would officially pay for his guitar lessons. So that's what Young Post did. He would watch YouTube tutorials on how to play, and he taught himself the basics, and he actually became pretty good. Post won his eighth grade talent show where he performed a metalcore cover of Rihanna's smash song Umbrella. Now he was doing open mic night covers of Guns N' Roses and playing any show that he could. Now Post, he wanted to take his musical dreams to the next level and he decided to try out and join a band. Now just 15 years old, he auditioned for a band known as Crown the Empire. This was in 2010. And here's one of the members of Crown talking about working with Post Malone. Met this dude, he was like super goofy, like super tall curly hair kid. We kind of grew up together from like middle school into high school and then we kind of separated but in high school we reconnected uh, became became kind of friends and started doing music stuff we actually did that song for a, an eighth grade like battle of the bands now the band they ended up winning battle of the bands but long story short their guitar player he left the group so in need of a new member they went searching held open auditions and being friends with post well they suggested that he come in an audition when crown was looking for a, a guitar player when we were still forming i was like you gotta try this guy he was like my friend and stuff tried out his guitar string broke in the during, in, the, during, during the audition, audition so he's like super embarrassed and they were like no nah, dude i don't think he's that good but uh ended up doing his own thing moving to la wow. producing that song himself i'm pretty sure and then just from then on it was just ballers the post was ready to perform but unfortunately during his audition one of his guitar strings broke seems like fate to me needless to say he didn't get the gig and crowd the empire well they actually ended up becoming a huge band in their own right but things, they worked out just fine for Post Malone. Now after his failed audition, he did start performing with a metalcore band in high school, and we actually found some old video footage from one of their performances. Yeah, pretty different from the soft melodies you hear on his albums today. But after a short stint in metal, well he then transitioned into making softer rock music. Ah, blues player. There you go. Post wanted to mix his unique ability to create melody and his love for guitar with trap drums to create his own sound. He began learning how to produce on an illegally downloaded version of FL Studios and he recorded his first song on Audacity. Now Post, he said his dad, well, he was the first fan of his beats. So Post shared his first song with his classmates who thought it was actually pretty good. I recorded a song and I would play it for all my friends, okay. at, you know, at lunch, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, and the, they started playing it at, at the parties and everything, and everybody, yeah. like, everybody at the school knew, mm -hmm. and then, like, everybody at, like, the other schools knew. Post then graduated from Grapevine High School, but was still focused on his initial dreams of becoming a professional musician. Now, while he attended Tarrant County Community College in Texas, well, he was constantly writing songs. And his focus, it shifted so much onto music that he dropped out of college to chase after his dreams full time. Now, at 18 years old, he moved from Texas to Los Angeles. Now, post, he was planning on showing his mixtape to anyone who would listen. That's when he first got to LA. But as we now know about that town, well, it's a tough nut to crack. I really. just figured, you know, I had a mix a mixtape and I thought it was really good. And it wasn't at the it time. It was really bad, <laughs> but I thought it was so good. And I was like, I need to go to LA, figure this out. And I went and then, you know, that's when I actually made good music. So, you know, kind of coming out here and linking with people and going to studios and stuff is kind of where it started, you know what I mean? He actually told Young and Reckless, I moved to LA from Dallas to win some goddamn Grammys. Now Posty actually moved to LA with one of his close friends, Jason Probst. Now this guy, he was a Minecraft YouTuber who had a channel known as True MU, And that stands for Minecraft Universe. He was also part of the Minecraft team called Crafted. But Jason, he was no small time YouTuber. He had already accumulated over 1 million subscribers and was growing fast. I do YouTube, video YouTube videos, yeah, under uh, the username Minecraft Universe, because I do Minecraft videos. 
Minecraft universe, all right. So Jason and his fellow Minecraft crew members, well, they had some money to spend on a nice place in San Fernando Valley. Now, Jason, he was planning on renting a place with some of the other members, and he knew how badly Post wanted to make it in the music industry, so he let him tag along. And if you're thinking there's no way gamers had that much money to throw around, well, Post Malone said in a later interview that Jason, he had a private jet when he was only 17 years old. My friend Jason, yeah. with, with his gaming stuff, yeah. and he said, hey, let's go to Vegas. And I guess it was his business associate's private jet. So any girl who's like, I'm not dating no Minecrafter, think again. Yeah. <laughs> Now when they got out to LA, the group, they would make content online. And in some of the videos we'll post, he would cover songs for their audience. And being a good sport, well, young Posty, he also got in on their skits. Trevor? You all right? You okay? Did you fall in? He even performed on stage with them, like in this epic Coldplay cover about Minecraft. Now I'm gonna play for you what we can, but a lot of these videos, they've been getting claimed. So, well, take a look. Minecraft. It was likely around this time that he now posted this now infamous video, which a lot of people might think he's embarrassed by. Well, Post actually said it's something he's super proud of. It was you walking out my door. You said you loved me just moments before. Watch you lie. What the heck? That video cracks me up, but honestly, I got some embarrassing videos from when I was trying to be a rapper myself, so I get it. Maybe I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Next to you, I'm Albert Einstein. This getting through to your head? Now, Post has gone on to say that he was just joking around when he made that video, and, uh, well, it really helped out when we made his before they were famous, so Post, thanks a lot. When I tried to sit down and write the song, I wanted to write the best song I've ever written by humans. Now Post, he wasn't making any money while he was crashing with his pal. And nothing, it really happened for Post in the first year of being in LA. And Post's guitar, well then it even got stolen one day, so things weren't looking good. Uh, well, uh, we drive uh, like a Suburban, and uh, someone broke into the back and stole the back seats. Without and, us knowing. And a guitar. And and his guitar. Now Post, he was anxious to start recording his real tracks, and he wanted to make a new kind of music that he was actually proud of. Now he was working with a group of friends and he knew someone at a studio, so finally he got some studio time. Now this is when he was first introduced to First from FKI. Now First heard Austin's voice and knew that Post had a lot of talent. Now the two, they ended up becoming good friends and working on a lot of music together, but Post, he needed a direction for his music and a new image. That's when he got his hair braided, he got some gold grills and some ice after being inspired by AI. I ain't talking about no robot. I'm talking about one of the NBA superstars, one of Post Malone's all-time heroes, good old Allen Iverson. I had to give me some braids, bro. And you know, pay tribute to the homie, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? No, no, no. Now in terms of his name, at first he said he came up with it just because it sounded cool, but he later admitted that the name actually came from a random rap name generator. So I decided to use the same generator myself, and I got Ol' McCrudden. Michael Adana and Dirty Face Michael. Again, my rapping days are way behind me. One day you crashed, a limo fell off. Now it could have been a worry that nobody would take him seriously as a white boy with cornrows and gold teeth, but the music, it spoke for itself. Now Post Malone, he now had a new name. He wrote the song White Iverson and FKI, he made the beat at 7 a.m. and they recorded it together. Now White Iverson, it was the first song Post Malone ever released to the world under his new name. Yeah, I was just like, I didn't plan on releasing it anytime soon either, but it leaked somewhere. It was uploaded to his SoundCloud account in February of 2015. And to say the song blew up, well, that would be downplaying it. Now the song, it got an initial boost from first, posting it to his SoundCloud, but people really caught on and loved the song. Now White Iverson, it had 7,000 streams overnight, but before long the song, it had hundreds of thousands of plays, and then soon, it had millions. Even Complex's Pigeon and Planes, they posted his early work and directed a ton of traffic towards it. And then Post, well, he had celebrities like Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller telling him how much they loved his music. See, the, when I wrote it, I didn't know that people was gonna f with it, like as much as I did. Like, cause I was like, it was kind of like different, like from what yeah. everything I did before, but um, whenever I recorded it, I just thought it sounded 
Dope. Yeah, he woke up to all this one fateful morning. It's just crazy to wake up and, and see everything popping off right before your eyes, you know what I mean? Now Posty went to South by Southwest and made a name for himself within the industry, but the next step was to shoot a music video for his hit song. Now he wanted to shoot a video for White Iverson, but he only had $5,000 left in his bank account. So he borrowed some money and a Rolls Royce from a friend, and he went out to the desert to shoot the video. Now the song, the timing, his look, and his talent, well everything clicked perfectly, and today the video is close to a billion views on YouTube. So it's safe to say he made that 5K back. Now he ended up performing at Kylie Jenner's birthday party later that year, and James Harden, he knew all the words of the song. He also met Kanye West at the same party, which led to him being on Kanye's Life of Pablo album. Now Post signed with Republic Records and he toured the world with Justin Bieber, even stirring up some controversy when they got into a little scuffle on the road. But the two later clarified that they were just joking around. Now Post, he has of course had to deal with some controversy regarding cultural appropriation. But Post seems he just wants to keep to himself and make the music he likes to make. Now since his initial hit will post Malone, he's gone on to become one of the biggest stars in music. Now his stats, they speak for themselves with seven top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and three number one signals on the chart for Sunflower, Psycho, and Rockstar. Now the latter became his most successful single yet, going eight times platinum. And with his new album, well, I'm pretty sure more are gonna come. His tattoos have also increased a lot since his success, tatting always tired below his eyes. Now as for Posty's love life, well he seems to be in a happy relationship, but recently asked his fans not to post about who he is. Dating, she's been with him for a long time. She's really, she's really awesome. Yeah. You know, like she is like the most supportive person in my mm -hmm. life. And you know, uh, there's been times where I was just like, ah, and you know, she's always been there. What a guy. I mean, he found fame and fortune and he kept the same girl by his side. That's a, that's a true gentleman. You know what I mean? Now I'm not sure if they're still together, but he has made some close ties and lasting relationships with a few other influencers. I'm talking H3, H3 and Nalk. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll get a kick it with Post. We actually do have the same jeweler for our grills. Good old Toronto grills. For real. All right, guys, I think I'm getting a little off topic, so we're gonna wrap this one up. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this, of course, is before they're famous. Epic style. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of extra work into making these epic biographies. This channel's been hit pretty hard. A lot of our videos have been claimed, like 50% of the channel. Also YouTube, it's more crowded than ever. So we really appreciate all of you guys who tune in on the regular, those who subscribe, turn on post notifications, join as a channel member. That's that's the best you can do for us. And uh, well, thank you so much. And uh, post below, one of the biggest stars in the world. I wonder who we'll be doing next. You gotta let us know down below.